All right, so today we're going to be looking at classifying different types of triangles by their sides and by their angles. So I know that you have been introduced to these before, typically in fourth grade, but this is just a review of the different types. So you're probably most familiar with the scalene triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the equilateral triangle, all right? Scalene triangle has no congruent sides, has none of the symbols that show you they're congruent. Isosceles triangles have two congruent sides, at least. Make sure you put that at least in your notes, okay? One thing I like to do, which I've talked about before, is isosceles. I either think of an icicle or I think of like the two eyes. That was one that Ms. McConnell has shared with us in the past. And then equilateral triangles have three congruent sides. All three sides are congruent, all right? Now, we're adding on classifying triangles by angles. You have an acute triangle, which is where all three of the angles are acute angles. You have a right triangle where you have just one right angle. You have an obtuse triangle, where you have one obtuse angle. And then you have an equiangular triangle, where all three of the angles are congruent. When you are drawing these in your notebooks, please make sure that you are adding in the correct symbols to help you later on when you look at your notes. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to write these down. Okay. Those of you that are at home, if you have any questions, let me know. But it looks like everybody's in the pear deck, so it's awesome. Did you get water? Oh, yeah. I wish I had the cooling package, but it's fun. <laughs> Once it looks like everybody has this in their notebooks, we're actually going to do a couple of example problems where you will have to classify the actual triangle and then you will also have to draw a type of triangle, okay, based off of the information that I give you. Cold? No, I wasn't even cold. Cold water was nasty. I think it's cold water. Any questions before we move on to the examples? Okay, now, on your pear deck, you should be able to classify this type of triangle by its sides. Exactly. Notice the symbols that are in the triangle. Now, this is a real world triangle. A lot of times you'll see um, bridges have triangles, right, because of their properties. Um, it makes that structure as strong as possible. Obviously, if you're going across a bridge, Very you don't want it waving. So, you have three options. You have either scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. Based off of your notes, pick which triangle is shown in this picture. Equilateral. Right? Because look, all sides, the all sides are equal. Are they all equal? That's just a, it's what a are the symbols? I mean, these these two are congruent. You can see the one up right there. But they ain't got no line right there. Okay, so. But why they not line right there? Because. Well, then it's it's telling you that only these two are. Okay, so then that be a isosceles. Questions? Let me look to see. We've got everybody answered. Adrian, you're good? You chose one? Okay, so can someone tell me what kind of triangle is shown in our picture? 
isosceles. Anybody agree, disagree with him? Alex H., I heard you say something. But it's isosceles, so you agree with him, right? Okay, so how did you guys determine that this was an isosceles triangle? Well, I don't like you guessing. Damaris, what did you look at? Uh, well, I looked at the bottom of the scene that it had like the congruent line. So that it had two lines of the triangle that have the congruency symbols. Right. So a triangle that has at least two congruent sides is an isosceles triangle. Awesome. Next one. One more. Classify the triangle now by its angles. So we're going to have an acute, a right, obtuse, equiangular. You have some choices on your pair deck. Look at the triangle. You're talking about every angle, right? This is, well, it depends. Remember, if we have an acute triangle, mm -hmm. all three angles have to be acute. When you get to the right triangle and the obtuse triangle, you're only looking at one of the angles. So look to see, okay, do I have all acute angles? Do I have one right angle? Do I have one obtuse angle? Adrian, what do you think? Did you put your answer in? I did put my answer in. You put your answer in, David? Awesome. Do you see that? Yep, I've got seven students so far. Do you see my answer? I don't see your answer yet, but I'm going to look at it in a second to see if everyone's gotten this. Any questions? Anyone just completely unsure of what it is? AJ, how you doing? What about my virtual students? Anybody want to provide an answer? Obtuse. Okay, Alex H says obtuse. What about my people at home? Do you agree with Alex H? He said it's an obtuse triangle. I'm taking my answer. I saw you. Anybody at home want to agree with Alex H? He said obtuse or disagree. Nobody's listening at home. Ooh, Alex W. disagrees. Alex W., what do you think it is? I choose a rock. You think it's an acute. All right, one thing I do want to show you guys. Now, I'm going to tell you that I agree with Alex H. Now, Alex H. said that it is an obtuse triangle. Now, Alex, which angle did you think was an obtuse angle? Okay, Alex says that angle K is the obtuse angle. If I look at that, remember, obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. Okay, obtuse, or sorry, right? angles are always going to give us that box in the corner. That's our symbol that we use. Now this one, if I were to put that, this is larger than a right angle. Therefore, angle K has to be an obtuse angle. If you look back in your notes at the types of triangles by angles, if you have one obtuse angle in your triangle, it's an obtuse triangle. So Alex W, do you see how that is an acute triangle? I mean, did I say acute? Obtuse. I apologize. So angle K was our obtuse angle. If you were to have an acute triangle, all three of the angles would have to be less than 90 degrees. 
Okay, let's move on. Okay, now this is where you're drawing. I understand that since you are drawing with your mouse pad, sometimes it is hard to get, you know, exact uh, line lengths or measurements. But what I want you to try right now is to draw an equilateral triangle. I Try your best. Draw an equilateral triangle. Think back to your notes. Yeah, and I really like what you added on that. Now, Demarius, if I'm, I'm going to point you out, Demarius. Demarius added some symbols on his triangle that would help me as the teacher out in determining whether he drew an equilateral triangle or not. Yeah, I don't know if I got mine. It's perfect. And again, it's oh, these, man. okay if it's not <laughs> exactly perfect. Like, it's <laughs> hard drawing on the mouse pads. I get it. Now, as we go over this, since I'm seeing some of us have this definitely You heard them clap back though? They, there's no Who can tell me, what's an equilateral triangle? Something that has equal sides. Something? What kind well, of shape? A triangle that has equal sides. A triangle that has all three of the sides congruent. congruent, yes. Now, like I said, I was going to pick on Demarius. Demarius added in, and actually I'm going to draw it on my end so you guys can see what he did. I don't know if I can actually draw. Shoot, I can't. I'll draw it up here. Teacher mode, I can't do that. So when you draw this, now I'm drawing a triangle and it's not perfect, but what I like what Demarius did is he added in the symbols showing me that those sides are congruent. All right. Since it's an equilateral triangle, he added those symbols on all three sides. Okay. Now we are going to look at the triangle sum theorem. Okay? So put this in your notes first. We're going to go over what the triangle sum theorem is, and then we have a couple of examples for you to do. Again, you don't have to worry about the theorem number. There goes the uh, dryer or the proof page. That was me. I know. Was that in the hallway? Yeah. That's what I thought. Mr. Extra being loud again. Always. Always loud. That's why I love you, bro. It's like they're testing me. I put that dryer. <laughs> okay, we texted the boy in the bathroom and told him to bless the dryer. Damn! Damn! Still going! Oh, yeah, he just don't want to go to class. <laughs> he just doesn't want to I go cap in the window. That's friends. how I I'll, I'll be right <laughs> I know. Okay, so you have this in your notes. So we've actually done this before. We just haven't called it the triangle sum theorem. It's where all the angles in a triangle, all three, they will always add up to a sum of 180 degrees. All right. We've practiced this before. We just haven't called it the triangle sum theorem. So basically, if I have angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, they have to add up to 180. If you get something other than 180, there is an error or a mistake that needs to be fixed. 
We need to know that whenever we have any triangle, no matter how big, small, whether it's acute, obtuse, right, equiangular, the sum of all three of those angles will always equal 180 degrees. Come on up the board, team. Yes. Okay, so now, here, I would like you to find the measure of the missing angle. So as a quick reminder, how many degrees are in a triangle? 180. 180. So I'm looking for the measure of angle X. Mm -hmm. Okay? So based off of that theorem, we know... That the 56 degrees plus 35 degrees plus X has to equal that 180. So then we're going to have to use some of our algebra skills that we've been using consistently this year to solve for X. Can you like write it out on the board? Yes. Like so we can do the problem. Mm -hmm. Here, we know the sum of these three angles has to equal 180. 180. So I'm going to do 56 plus the 35 plus X. That's the one we don't know. And like you said, we set it equal to 180. Okay, then don't we take... Mm, well, we want to get x by itself, but currently, do oh. I have any like terms I need to? No. Yes. What can I do with the 56 and the 35? Add them. Yeah, I can add those like terms together. What's 56 plus 35? 91. Okay. So 91 plus x equals 180. So now, x has a 91 being added to that. If I want to cancel out that plus 91, what's the up? Subtract. Yeah, you subtract that 91 from both sides. So that cancels out on the left. x stays. Now what's 180 minus 91? 89. 89. That is the measure of our missing angle.